I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will tell you a technique to find equation of vertical asymptotes or the location of holes. So the question here is find location of hole or equation of vertical asymptote if any. We are given four different questions. Now whenever you are looking for location of holes or the equation of vertical asymptote you need to factor both numerator and denominator. That should be your first step. Okay first one is already in factored form. Now, see if we have a common factor in numerator or denominator, right? So, first step is you need to factor, right? So, first step always is factor numerator and denominator, right? Factor both numerator and denominator. And the second step is check for common factors. So these are the two steps to be followed, right? If there are no common factors, then we have a vertical S, right? If no common factors, if no common factors, between numerator and denominator, then that leads to zeros of denominator leads to vertical asymptote. Correct? But if, let me put two dots here, we are just checking the factors, but if we have common factors then there are two possibilities then we can either get a hole or we get vertical asymptote there are two possibilities and we will do these examples to understand okay let's go back to our questions now first one 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 they are already factored there are no common factors, that means denominator 0 is going to give us vertical asymptotes. There are no holes in this, right? So to find vertical asymptotes, what should we do? We should equate denominator to 0. So we'll equate x plus 1 to 0. So we get x equals to minus 1. That becomes the equation of our vertical asymptote, x equals to minus 1. I hope you get it, correct? Now part B is 8x over x cubed minus 4x. Let us factor. 8x is in the numerator, which is in factored form, where we can factor out x from the denominator, right? So when you factor, you get x squared minus 4. x squared minus 4 can be further factored. So we'll get 8x divided by x times x plus 2 times x minus 2. So that is what we get. Now here you can see that we do have a common factor in numerator and denominator. Now in this particular case that common factor gives us a hole, right? So that is a hole. So we have a hole and the location is equate this to 0, x to 0. So we get hole at x equals to 0. Do you understand? So that is the position where we have a hole at x equals to 0. However, we are still having two factors in the denominator, both of them will lead to vertical asymptotes. So we'll have vertical asymptotes and the equation will be what value of x makes it 0? x plus 2 equals to 0 at x equals to minus 2. And for this one, at x equals to plus 2, so we can write plus and minus. So there are two vertical asymptotes, one for x plus 2 factor, the other one for x minus 2. Okay, so that is our solution. Let's look into the next one. So here we have y equals to 3x minus 6. Let us factor. We can take 3 common. So we get x minus 2. And in the denominator, we have x minus 2 times x plus 1. Now in this case also, we can, we have a common factor in numerator and denominator. This common factor leads to a whole. Let me write down this time here. So we have a hole at 
x minus 2 equals to 0. So we'll equate it to 0, x minus 2 equals to 0, and then solve. So this gives us x equals to 2. So we have a hole at x equals to 2. And how about a vertical asymptote? We still have one factor which has not been cancelled in the denominator, which is x plus 1. So that leads to a vertical asymptote. So where x plus 1 equals to 0, that gives us equation of vertical asymptote and that is x equals to minus 1, right? Hole is a point, vertical asymptote is a line, okay? So that is what we get for vertical asymptote. So we have both hole and a vertical asymptote. Now let's look into the next question, right? In this particular case, let me factor the denominator. Numerator is x minus 1 divided by x square minus 2x plus 1. This is x minus 1 whole square. 1 times 1, I should say minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. When you add them, you get minus 2. So here we get x minus 1 whole square in the denominator. Well, this is a very tricky part. Now, strictly speaking, one of the factors, x minus 1, gets cancelled. So you should expect a whole, right? Because that gets cancelled. But still, we have a factor in the denominator which will lead to vertical asymptote. And the vertical asymptote is because of x minus 1, correct? So, in this particular case, we have only a vertical asymptote and that too, when x minus 1 equals to 0 and the equation is x equals to 1, correct? So, that is our vertical asymptote. I hope that makes things very clear. If we have a common factor in numerator and denominator, we are talking about numerator and denominator, then we could get a whole or a vertical asymptote right? So in this case, we did had a common factor x minus 1. That cancelled out. But even then, since there were two factors for the same value, we finally only got vertical asymptote, right? In these cases, when one of the factors got cancelled out, we got whole, correct? So when there is a common factor, there is a possibility of both whole or a vertical asymptote. We need to further analyze. But if there is no common factor, then we get a vertical asymptote, right? Remember, it is only the denominator zeros which lead to vertical asymptote or a hole, right? So important thing to note here is, let me write down the note, that zeros of denominator can give us whole or vertical asymptote, right? So we have to analyze the zeros of the denominator. If we have a common factor in the numerator, then there is a possibility of a whole. Otherwise, there will be a vertical asymptote. So like this also, you can summarize it. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.